Hello everybody and welcome back. I hope you all having a good weekend. So in today's video, I am going to show you how I made this waffle cone Christmas tree. I was at home and that's the department store just the other day and I came across this cute little waffle cone Christmas tree. So I figured, you know what, let me try to see if I can make my one myself. So it's really simple. Uh, the first thing I did was to measure my uh, cone and I just wrapped it around as you can see here I went in with my scissors and then I just cut off the excess whatever I thought I was not going to be needing now I did leave about half of an inch and that's just to make sure uh, and whatever uh, once I added the glue whatever was left then I just went ahead and cut that off too so what I also did was I painted both of them separately because I wanted the pad to be a little bit darker than what the inside would be the cone uh, would be anyways so once i painted them and they were dried then i went ahead and glued it in together and i went in again with my scissors and then cut off any extra excess off of the pad so um after i let it sit and dry i went in again with uh touch-ups you know with the paint and just uh painted over whatever was still a uh, not still but uh wherever the paint came off anyways so once all of that was set and dry i went in with my light spackle which was going to be mimicking the garland and i just went in all the way around and started decorating uh with my sprinkles and my peppermint uh candies which i got them from play cold three and Come and think of it, most of all of my sprinkles, now that I'm thinking about it, uh, came from Play Code 3. I am going to leave also my dis uh, my code in the description box down below. So in case you are in the hunt for some sprinkles or some clay or some uh, fake candies, you know, you can go in there and use my uh, code and then you can get that 50% off anything over 20 dollars i think and then if you buy anything over 30 uh you get or 35 you get um not only the 15 percent off but you also get free shipping and handling so uh once i painted well once i got all everything decorated um that was it i was actually done it took no more than less than an hour and that's only because i had to let uh the cone dry um and of course i had my ceiling fan running so that made the process go a little bit faster now this candy i got it from it's actually plastic candy i got it from uh, hobby lobby and i just went in with the exacto knife and just be careful when you're using these uh, exacto knives because you don't want to cut yourself uh, and as you can see i just cut a little hole stick my little lollipop stick that i got from hobby lobby and uh, that was it I mean, this was so easy and quick. I uh, I love how it looks. It looks so adorable. Anyways, so yeah, you know, uh, this is it. I mean, I, I couldn't believe how easy this was to make. I have actually made a waffle cone in the past. And like I said, you know, I use glue, uh, hot glue. Um, and this is actually was a little bit quicker because with the hot glue, you know, you had to, you know, add the glue and then you had to wait for a second and then you couldn't you know had to be careful that you don't burn yourself and what have you but this was actually a lot easier easier and simple and i think i'm going to keep this tactic going with the waffle cone design Okay, and I also made one for Halloween. This one, I made it 
looking like a big candy corn added um fine glitter as well and the little halloween charms i got those off of amazon i'll leave the link in the description box down below in case you want to purchase some uh, the little pumpkin i got that from hobby lobby and i love how they both come out they look so cute i'm thinking about maybe uh, making one for thanksgiving i'm not sure just yet i'll probably surprise you and throw one in there later sometime down the road anyway uh thank you friends so much for stopping by and until the next video stay safe be kind bye